All right, guys, it is a hot, sticky day here in the end time, somewhere deep in the Finger Lakes region of New York on this steamy Tuesday morning, July 30th, 2019. So uh, here I am heading to the Computer Geek on the day after Earth Overshoot Day with not one, not two, but three Dell laptop E6510 computers to start over with a new computer to try to keep what I do for a living keep it going and I one more time I want to send out an absolutely uh, over-the-top huge thank you to a uh, kind-hearted tribes member who wants to be anonymous I'll just call him Archangel J uh, for purchasing this new computer and other items shall we say uh, anyway thank you brother for your unbelievably kind donation to uh, keep Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles on the air for a while longer with my brand new better computer and I also have two more big thank yous to send out as well to kind-hearted tribes members uh, Lisa and my buddy over there in New Hampshire Peter who I will be seeing next week uh, for your kind donations to uh, keep Humpty Dumpty Tribe and Collapse Chronicles on the air. So I just, while I'm trying to find the uh, computer geek, the, the road system of Cortland, New York, good Lord, uh, this is the most complicated. I'm, I'm trying to get to Main Street. Anywho, uh, I, I, I don't know guys, I guess this is just a question for any nurses or doctors listening to this. So, you almost, uh, you, the ass licking toadies, I don't know how close they came to uh, getting their wish last night. And I just want to let you know what happened to me and see if anyone has any advice on exactly what I'm supposed to do about this. Uh, so after a, a nice healthy meal of a big old pork chop and a buttery uh, ear of corn on the cob of course my daily two margaritas and then finishing off it all literally with a big healthy dose of death by chocolate death by chocolate ice cream uh, which could have been my last meal. So I went to bed last night and I just laid down in bed about midnight and I had been, I was on my back laying in bed trying to drift off to sleep. I hadn't been in bed five minutes and my heart beat. I mean, it must have, it's, uh, I got this weird kind of hollow feeling in my chest and my uh and it was almost like the left side of my face started doing something weird and all in that part of my body and my and my heartbeat i mean exploded it went from whatever it normally is i think i have a healthy heartbeat i'm guessing 200 times a minute i mean boom 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 uh and I'm going, you know, what the fuck? I did not know if, if, if uh, I was having a heart attack, if I was having a goddamn stroke. You know, I had this weird feeling in the left side of my face, uh, which was, I, I said, motherfucker, uh, this could be it. I, I was hoping for the heart, for the heart attack over, over the stroke. So I, I'm lying there dealing with this shit like like what the fuck do I do you know I was staying with my buddy uh, with uh, tribes member JJ up here and I'm lying there I you know thinking do I go 
do I get up and, and tell JJ that I might be having a heart attack or a stroke? Is this really happening to me? And you know, my father died of a heart attack in his 40s and his father died of a heart attack in his 40s. Well, I'm getting ready to hit 60 in a couple of months. So anyway, I'm lying there, but the weird feeling about it, uh, as I'm lying there, and I had time to think, you know, this was two or three minutes with my heartbeat going boom, 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 thinking, you know, this could be it. And what I was really, it was really weird. I was not thinking about dying. Uh, that was not my main concern. My main concern is that Sancho was there next to me, so we were in the bedroom with uh, the door closed, and I had already, so JJ, I'm house sitting for JJ, so he was, you know, he was leaving at eight o'clock this morning, so we had already made arrangements. Before I went to bed, I said, well, you know, I'm probably gonna sleep late, so if I miss you, bon voyage, whatsoever. So I knew that JJ was not gonna gonna knock on my door to wake me up and so Sancho was in there with me with the door shut and JJ getting ready to leave for uh, over a week uh, and I was what my worry was not about dying it really wasn't it was about Sancho being left there that JJ was going to uh, you know wake up get in his car and and head out uh, and just leave Sancho locked in this bedroom no food no water you, you know with my dead body and that Sancho was going to die this uh, you know this horrible lingering death I guess he could have eaten could have been gnawing on me but he had no water but it was really weird uh, to actually be lying there and thinking I could be dead in the next few minutes. And I decided not to get out of bed. I didn't want to bother. I decided not to bother JJ with my, with my little problem of, of having a heart attack in his house and dying so he could come find my bloated, rotten body. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to say, I, I don't know, you know, you never know when your time is up. You never know when, uh, when your number will be called. And I'm probably going to have the same, uh, I'm probably going to have the same meal tonight that I had last night. I'm probably going to eat another big old pork chop and top it off with a big bowl of death by chocolate ice cream so maybe the last taste in my mouth and i'm seriously uh, as i told jj i'm gonna i'm gonna put uh, you, you know a big bowl of dry dog food and water uh in the room with me uh before i go to bed tonight because uh, you know i don't know if i'm waking up tomorrow now of course that has always been my fantasy to uh, go to bed and never wake up. So tonight, maybe I'll get my wish, but if anybody knows what I just described, is what I just described something I should be concerned about? Uh, the fact that I had a heartbeat of about 200 beats per minute. And what do you do if, I mean, what is the proper reaction uh, especially when you're alone, uh, you know, when you're alone in a place. Uh, you know, I really wish people would uh, do a little better on putting their addresses up. Anyway, guys, I got to pay attention to my driving and take my three computers. So if you never hear from me again, it has been nice knowing you. And uh, I guess, JJ, uh, if you're listening to this, you can have all three of my computers and my truck and take care of Sancho Panza. Uh, he is all yours, and it has been nice knowing you guys. How, how long? Jesus fucking Christ! Uh, you know, Cortland, New York, 
how long does it take to find the address 180 Main Street? Where I come from, you know, like, like one block is 100 to 200. The next fucking block is too much. But I've been going for block after block after block trying to get from fucking 138 to 180 Main Street. But I think I see a little sign which is probably, probably what tech bites. Yes, tech does bite. We repair cell phones, tablets, and computers. So I am uh, heading in to uh, spend how much more money at Tech Bites. It's been fun knowing you guys. My guys, maybe I should go next door to the Daily Grind and get some CBD oil to pour on my death by chocolate before I go to bed tonight. Bye guys.